Hi there. Today we want to talk about one of the three main methods of estimation of fatigue life. I have already explained the two other methods, which are the stress life method and the linear elastic fracture mechanics method. So you can find them over here. And today I would like to explain the strain life method. The strain life method tries to make a relationship between the strain amplitude and the reversals, which leads to fatigue failure. So, you know, basically the output of this method, I mean the strain life method, could be much more precise than the stress life method. But it's not that easy to implement, I mean, and use this method, you know. I'll tell you later on why. So each material, or let's say steel, has a strain life curve and this strain life curve basically has one elastic part and one plastic part. Okay, now I'm drawing schematically a stress life curve to illustrate these things. It's actually a log log curve. The vertical axis is the strain amplitude and the horizontal axis is the reversals to failure. Reversal is a half cycle, huh? half cycle. The elastic part is schematically like this, mm -hmm. like this, and the plastic part uh, schematically something like this, okay, like this. And a fit curve could simply sum up the elastic and plastic part as the total strain, you know, something like this. Mm -hmm. Like this. However, you know, this fit only is an approximation. Even these two lines are also the approximations or let's say fit for uh, many experiments. Many experiments ha have already been done and these two lines are only uh, fits or approximations. Okay, Here the elastic part goes with a fit equation which is called Pasquin's equation. Yeah, Pasquin's equation, like this. Mm -hmm. I'll explain the parameters later on and the equation of the plastic part, which is called coffin mansum, is like this. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here, this is the elastic strain amplitude. However, this is the plastic strain amplitude. Then the sigma f here is called fatigue strength coefficient, uh, which is the true stress leading to fracture in one reversal. So the sigma f over e, which is young modulus, I mean e is, young, is the young modulus, is the starting point of elastic line. Similarly, here the epsilon f is called the fatigue ductility coefficient which is the true strain, not stress, strain leading to fracture in one reversal. And it's equivalent to the starting point of the plastic line here. Mm -hmm. Then B, B is called the fatigue strength exponent and is equivalent to the slope of the elastic curve, this curve. And similarly, C called the fatigue ductility exponent and is equivalent to the slope of the 
plastic line. Yeah, this one. Now, a question might arise here that the slope of the line should stay here, not as a power. Yes, true. But be careful, the curve has been plotted logarithmically. That's why it's already right. So now, basically, if we sum up the elastic strain amplitude and plastic strain amplitude, we should reach the total strain amplitude. Okay, so let's go ahead. Delta. Delta epsilon over 2 equals the delta elastic epsilon over 2 plus delta plastic epsilon over 2. Okay, now let's substitute the former equations here. The uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's it. Okay, this is the total strain amplitude correlated with the fatigue line, which is also called Coffin Manson Basquin equation. Another important point that I would like to point out here is that the above coffin manson basquin equation is not the only suggested equation in strain life method, you know. There are some other equations and fits for the total strain life, such as the, like, Watson topper approach and other approaches. And this is the job of the engineer or scientist to select the most appropriate model depending on the material, knot or crack, conditions and other circumstances so that was a brief explanation of the strain life method by the way i have a nice summary that includes the most important points don't miss it please uh, stay tuned motivated and with me as well